Hello family, this is Easy Herbs with another important topic but before I start can you please subscribe drop a comment and like the video if you like the video and and if you feel the information is right and exact the topic today will be about Fispy Tidy Line Nocetal Free Kinase and how it corresponds with cancer cells and the sulfur containing amino acid which is my finding so Fispy Tidy Line Nocetal Free Kinase which is aka PIK Free CA so PIK free CA is Fispy Tidy Line Nocetal Free Kinase. So PIK free CA is a family of enzymes which are involved in cellular functions. It's composed of about 85 KDA, which are regulatory subunits and catalytic subunits example of a catalytic subunit which is p110a and all of these factors help with the cellular functions in ways of survival interaction dividing proliferation and etc so that's the main function of pik free ca studies have been done on pik free ca and they found 15 mutations the reason why i bought up p i no p 110a which is a catalytic subunit is because that subunit is usually or frequently compromise and due to that fact it has put a stigma onto PIK free CA attaching it with or associating associating with, with Encore gene Encore gene means the course and the development of tumors so when you research PIK free CA you will see Encore attached or, or associated with it and this is due to the fact that PIK free CA alters morphine and cysteine utilization in both ways of transcriptional and post-transcriptional in XCT so XCT which is known as SCL7A11 is a sodium independent cysteine glutamine antiporter and due to the fact of altering the methionine and the and cysteine in the XCT there is a direct correlation of the increase of morphine dependency in cancer cells. So morphine is a essential amino acid that cannot be made within the body. Has to be consumed through dietary cancer cells are dependent on this methionine which is a sulfur containing amino acid and they found out that if they increase the XCT which is the sodium cysteine glutamine antiporter it would decrease the function of dependency of methionine in the cancer cells 
another factor which PIK3CA attacks or mutates is which is the MCF10A which is a human mammary epiphenol cell line it deals with expression markers PIK3CA mutates MCF10A which lowers the XCT which then it then corresponds with the increased dependency of myfinies in cancer cells this is very important now because mafiany is found in dietary it cannot be made within the body it's an essential amino acid for a reason it has many functions that are beneficial to the body as as example regulating cells but the 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 over excess of mafiany is lethal so on the next topic i'm definitely going to be talking about that how mafiany corresponds with cancer cells and what does cancer cells need of mafiany and i must give you a source for the information i just give to you right now you can look at the information I just give to you right now to facts check and it's from Oncogenetic PISK promotes morphine dependency in breast cancer cells through cysteine and glutamine antiporter XCT and that's a episode well done thank you for listening and take my information serious facts check my information making sure that i don't make mistakes any mistakes please put in my comments i always improve and i respect that you took your time to listen to me peace out